Although the 2022 mainline has not been very impressive in terms of new releases, this re-release has got people excited. It's got people in the tizzle. And honestly, me too. This is pretty wild. One that I certainly was not expecting. I have to eat my words because in some previous videos I said, I don't think Mattel will be doing any more damaged racers in terms of you know damaged Lightning McQueen, re-releasing damaged Mood Springs, uncanceling damaged Doc Hudson over here. But sure enough, here we are sitting face to face with damaged The King, who of course was only released in 2009 and then he was re-released in 2010 with Moving Eyes, you know, the lenticular alien googly eyes type of cars that they did that no one really liked. I don't know, maybe you like them, but I don't. I know a lot of people who didn't as well. And so, it's been really hard to get one, you know? He's gone up in value probably like $50 to $70 to get one in the package. And so, to have Mattel re-release it and actually be a pretty good variant with a new expression, like it's kind of a big deal. And so, that is why he is getting his own special video today. We're going to do all sorts of awesome comparisons. It's actually a double unboxing. I don't have a Tylen King opened up yet, so we're going to open him up to better the comparison. Of course, I have these damaged custom McQueen and Doc, and obviously race damaged Mood Springs as well. Mattel even did a Damage the King mini racer recently, so they really are showing me up. They probably saw my video and was like, yeah, we'll show him. But anyways, this guy came out of 2022 singles case G, nope, H, my bad, H, which I just unboxed, so I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right-hand corner. It's actually the best case of the year. It had a lot of good stuff. They even re-released the chase piece, which they're not supposed to do, but it's 2022, anything goes. You have Keith Cohn here, the first new single character of the year. In the main line, that is. Rowdy Revan Bush doesn't really count. But yeah, I like the artwork. It is the same as they used in 2009, but it just looks so good. Like on the Red Riders background, the contrast is great. You have Damage the King there. Everyone kind of forgets that the King is actually his nickname, so that's why it's in quotes. But sometimes they don't put it in quotes, so that's why they confuse everyone. As seen in cars, good job, Mattel. Now you have Marlon Clutch's McKay, the police car. Now I know I explain this in every video, but for the last time, they are not doing Bruce Miller, the car's three stock car RPM racer. They are not doing him. They actually are doing the car's one stock car, Winford Bradford Rutherford. They just accidentally put his image on all the car backs. You have Artie. Now this guy is not out yet. Yellow hydraulic Ramon, although he has been released already. Brad Windmiller was in this case, New Thailand variant. Kathy Copter has not been released for the year, but she was released from Thailand last year. And then you have Dexter Hoover over here with Checkered Flag. He is also not out yet, and he will be a New Thailand variant, I am pretty sure. He might have been released in a two-pack, but maybe not with that Checkered Flag. So, interesting stuff to come. Briefly, I'll show you the regular King. Now, I do like the consistency here. You have Strip Weathers, a.k.a. The King. They put that in quotes as well. I appreciate that. Now, it's funny. I have like the Vietnam version of The King loose, but not the Thailand version. Or at least I don't think so. So, we're going to open this one up. It's on a bad card. On the back of this one, you have Timothy Two Stroke, Bug Mouth, Lightning McQueen, Sally Sarge Ramon, Donna Pitts, and Jonathan Wrenchworths. So, a nice collective of cars, one characters, all of which have been released. The most recent one was Jonathan in case he was in G. Yep, he was in G. He was supposed to be in E, but they pushed him back. So guys, I'll be right back with both of these guys all opened up. Now, before we get after it, I want to show you guys something I found really interesting. So you know how on some of the blisters, they shape it so that they could reuse that exact same blister for a different die cast? Like with Fillmore here, 
They're just doing regular Fillmore right now, but they have it designed so they could fit the pit crew member version here, you know, with the fuel jugs. So it would just be pushed out a little bit more. The right fuel jug, well, his left would go up against the card back there, and the other one would be able to fit into that little socket right there. They did the same thing with Ramon. They have a little extra socket for his paint gun if they were to release like Ramon with paint gun, like the Union Jack Ramon they did a few years ago. Now you'd think they would have foresaw them doing a damaged king and just, you know, replicated the blister. I mean, he's very similar in body style, but no, they actually did an entirely different blister. Here's your one for regular king. You know, obviously fits in like a glove. I'll just keep him in there, I suppose. And then you probably can't tell immediately what the difference is, but it is this part right here that they had to indent inward for that spoiler. You can see how that's just flat, but there's that little indentation right there, that little divot. And it just kind of blows my mind because they haven't done Pick Remember Fillmore yet. They haven't done a Ramon with the paint gun that's not you know hydraulic like the yellow one that's coming like that is a different that's going to be an entirely different blister altogether because he's on his hydraulics but these guys were released relatively close to each other and they didn't think to do that so a little weird there it's something i find pretty interesting and maybe mattel realized they made that mistake and are working to prevent that in the future or something but yeah guys obviously we all know where damage the king appears but there he is just so we can compare him to the die cast. Really exciting that they're re-releasing this again. Did not think they would do that. You know, for those of you wondering why I didn't think they would do that, just because it's really hard to see like a character beloved by you know all sorts of younger people and whatnot, all beat up. It's like releasing a bloodied superhero almost which i mean it happens sometimes but it's not like they really do it that often it's not like they're going to release i don't know let me think of like a good one here oh man i need to think of a good one i don't know maybe like the winter soldier after like i know they did release him without his arm but like they don't like make him look so bloody like i don't know man did they do like wanda from doctor strange in the multiverse of madness with like all the blood and oil on her face like i don't know either way that's a different story. That's like the PG-13 category anyway. So, I don't know. I guess Mattel just doesn't really care about that. And I just thought that was the reason for them not doing that all along. Like they haven't released Rod Torque Redline Damaged either. You know, they canceled this one. They haven't done Damaged McQueen, which would have been a very, very popular release, you know, for a lot of the collectors. And even the kids, too, would like it. But you know what I'm saying. Like, they really have to kind of tiptoe and dance around the bush when it comes to that stuff. Or at least that's kind of like the vibes that they emulated or that they emanated rather over the last few years so i was wrong whatever we're going to get on with it here let's see here we're going to start actually comparing him to the chinese version here i just feel like that's a better comparison so right off the bat you could tell they have different expressions which is awesome really happy that they changed it up just you know gives you another reason to buy it so he's kind of got a smile now which he has when mcqueen starts pushing him I mean, who wouldn't? Your opponent that you gave advice to the previous race just gave up the Piston Cup to push you in on your final race. Heck yeah, I'd be smiling. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I did just crash and all. But yeah, no, that's pretty cool. He had his mouth like almost sewn shut before. But yeah, the eyes are a little different there. Now, I can kind of tell like the decal is like a little grainy in the white space, but it looks really good. Like it looks more vibrant, like the colors are purer than they are here. Like they look more faded and like it's not because he just crashed. Like I know he's got some grass stains and dirt on him now, but I am liking this a little bit better. I also like the darker grass stains because I just feel like it's a little bit more realistic to how he looked in the film. Obviously, he's kind of dented and, you know, malformed in the same spots as before that hasn't changed all that much his contingency sponsors look pretty good it's probably some of the best i've seen there like the piston cup one looks solid they still aren't as good as the chinese ones they may never be but hmm, i could say they improved a little bit 
Now, as with all the kings that they do now from Thailand, he doesn't have like those silver chrome rims. He has gray rims. Like that is the same exact thing on their regular versions as well. The numbers look similar. Again, a little darker on the top. Not as pure white because it gets a little grainy inside there. Same thing on the roof and the trunk part. But it's a little bit more outlined than black. Now, what I do like is the silver trim around the back window. It looks so much better here. Like, it looks dirty, a little bit more realistic, a darker gray. Has a nice texture to it, too. Now, both of them have, like, matte finishes. But this one feels a little rougher. The Thailand one feels a little rougher, a little raw. But, yeah, I don't really like the shiny silver trim on the Chinese version. Dynaco logos there look pretty good. The one on the Thailand version is way slimmer. Wow. That font is like light and then this one's like bold. <laughs> the orange is also way more visible around the lettering. You can also tell that the suspension is different. Like the Chinese version is lower. It's sitting lower than the Thailand version. Now these leathers are bold. It's kind of funny. Like these are, it's a, Larger font, but it's thinner than that. Hmm, interesting. And the spoiler is pretty much jagged in the same way. Let's see when this guy was made. R13A, so the 13th week of 2022 at the A factory. He does have the hook or the spot in his base, so he can be towed by that new Mater they released a few months ago. And I'm really happy they're including that on a lot of the cars here because they make it worthwhile to buy. It's like, you know, Mattel, if you're going to release Mater with working tow hook and you're going to make a big deal out of it, calling it new and everything, then heck yeah, you have to be putting that hole on all these other die casts. And I'm glad that they understand that, they're aware of that, and they're doing that. You know, all the McQueens have it now, Otis has it, Damage King has it now. A random car like Keith Cohn or Lee Race, they're not going to have it. Like It doesn't make any sense. But the ones that make sense for do have it. So we're really happy to see that. And overall, I have to say this is an improvement. Now, this, you know, the Chinese version is a classic release, right? You can't really go wrong with it. But the smiling version adds you know, a little freshness to it. I'm happy with it. I like the darker grass stains. So yeah, definitely one of the best Thailand variants they've done so far. You know, I think it may be the best because they actually changed the expression. I'm really happy about that. Here is the damaged mini racer version. This one's also kind of smiling a little bit, kind of like a premonition to the 155 scale version. But his detailing is a little different. He's not like his bent up, like they didn't do the spoiler jagged. Granted, it's just a mini racer. Just a mini. How cute. But yeah, guys, if you find this one, he will be popular. There are two in the case, but that does not mean he will peg warm. He will not. The regular The King hardly peg warms. This one, gone in a flash. Please, <laughs> you know. Within reason, though, like I'm just saying, like if you're going to pick up a car, this is one you're going to do. Like people ask me all the time, like, what should I buy? What should I do here? And like, I don't really know what to say. Like, I don't know your preferences, but like, fine. If you want me to say something, buy this one. It's going to be a rarer one in the future. I don't think he'll be included in many cases for the rest of the year, if any. So, you know, if you are given the opportunity, if it falls into your lap, Definitely take advantage of it. Now, before we sign off here, I obviously want to do a few more comparisons. Let's just... So here's your Thailand the King. Now, what's interesting, they use like an eye plate here. Not on the damaged versions, all one piece. I'd say the damaged decals look better. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but they just a little, look a little bit more realistic to me. Yeah, I mean, that's clear. Like, look, piston cup there, piston cup there. There's no question which one's clear, so I guess I'm not crazy. Huh, there you go, thinner font again. Love that consistency. Yeah. 
I do like the glossy finish on the Thailand King though. It's a nice touch. There is your regular King. Just looks so weird. Like I know it's a classic release and I'm so used to it, but seeing how the King looks, I was going to say McQueen. <laughs> the King looks. Everything's so flushly blue. Like no outline there. You can't see the mouth. He's lower. Expression's a little different. Like it looks odd to me now. I almost prefer this one. He's a lighter blue as well. Maybe a little bit more accurate. I don't know. Either way, the King's always been one of the best die casts they've had in their repertoire to release. I mean, Richard Petty, you have the NASCAR tie-ins. It's a great vehicle. Beautiful car. Disney and Pixar really gifted Mattel. <laughs> and here you have your Vietnam version. The whole arsenal. All with their similarities, their differences, their pros and cons. Vietnam version has transparent windows. Thailand's the only one that has those opaque gray windows. They're the only one with the gray rims. They're the only ones with the really crappy contingency sponsors because Vietnam, they might even be clearer than the Chinese decals. They did a really nice job there. Vietnam doesn't always do that good though. Like for example, on their NASCAR Lightning McQueen they did in the five pack, which is in the exact same pack as I got this King. Like legit, they're in the same exact set. His decals are god awful. Ugh. So yeah, guys, lots of cool stuff to talk about. We'll just do a little comparison here with some other damaged cars. Makes me want somebody to do like a matte mood springs like custom you know or somehow make this matte because i always found it a little weird that they released him with like his typical glossy finish it doesn't really look right i mean it's obviously a great release but he should probably have a matte finish which you know they did for the king in 2009 so why didn't they do it for him in 2010 only mattel knows they probably don't even know who am i kidding but yeah there's your mcqueen and then here you have Doc Hudson, both of which are customs, just to be clear. I have done reviews on them before, so I'll link them in the description below. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments section below which one do you prefer. Also, I do like how they lift him up a little bit more so it looks accurate, like when you had McQueen pushing him. Like whereas before, like that that doesn't look right, right? Like if you look in the movie, you can kind of see that his butt is up in the air a little bit. McQueen's kind of sniffing back there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's gross. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. Like this looks a little bit more like the angle shown in the movie than that. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments which version is your favorite. I'm gonna go with the Thailand version. You know, some recency bias might be at play here, but he's smiling right back at me. The grass stains are darker. I mean, can't ask for much more than that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time for another one. Bye now.